Hello, this is Organization with Olu, and today we're going to talk about how we can get 12 out of 12 in a 12 marker. So stick around. I think you're going to like what I've got for you. So right now, what I'm going to do is share my screen. Okay, guys, and I'm going to go straight into an example of a 12 marker. Okay, now I say we. The reason why I say we can try and get 12 marks because I'm a teacher, but I'm not perfect. And I can get better as well. And we can all get better together, okay? And the idea is that I hope that eventually your answers are even going to be better than mine. How wonderful would that be? It would be an absolutely amazing experience when you teach someone and they're actually provide, you know, producing answers that actually are better than your own answers. That would be wonderful, okay? So what I'm going to do again, like I said, your teacher might have their own different way of uh, approaching this. Listen to your teacher. There's no specific way that is right or wrong but i will show you my way okay my way doesn't necessarily mean it's the best way but it's a good way and if you follow this you should definitely be close to the maximum okay so let's go through this hopefully you remember this this appeared in a nine marker this case study appeared in a nine marker okay just to recap very quickly 12 markers and nine markers are very similar there's only one difference there's an a01 in the 12 marker and A01 simply means knowledge. Knowledge, you have to show your knowledge. And by the way, knowledge is not necessarily always equal just to definitions. It doesn't just mean definitions because sometimes you might get a case study and you can't find a definition and then you're lost. So you have to understand what knowledge actually means. And I'll give you, I'm gonna give you an example of this. So please go back to the nine marker and six marker um, and go through that, okay? Just recap. A01 is three marks. That's the knowledge. We're talking about 12 markers now. A01 is three marks. You have to show your knowledge. A02 is the case study. Applying it to the case study all the time. Stay in context all the time. That's another three marks. So A01, three marks. A02, three marks. And then you have A03 that consists of analysis and evaluation. And also if there's a recommendation, all of that is six marks. You have the analysis, stroke evaluation, which is going to be six marks as well, okay? Okay, so everybody understands that, it's very important. So let's get down to this. Let's open this up a little bit more. I hope you remember this, um, Susan McDonald, who wanted to start off on a hat business, okay? So I'm not gonna go through this again because we've done this in the nine marker. So please make sure you go for the nine marker before you do this. But just the question is, recommend to Susan if she should stick to her preferred option of being a sole trader or join her friends in a partnership for a new business called Hats and Caps. And this time is 12 marks, okay? So let's see the difference in my answer. Let's see the difference in my answer. Let's just open it up. Let's go to the answer of the 12 marker. Okay, let's open this, make this page a bit bigger. Now, have a look here. I hope you can see really clearly here. This paragraph here is the difference. This is A01. All this here is A01. And then I jump into, um, I go straight into the answer. I recommend that, Susan, yes? Remember, so let's talk about the knowledge now. Remember, we are supposed to show knowledge, okay? I want you to see how I've done this. Susan is keen on two types of business ownership. Two types of business ownerships. I should put an S there. Two types of business ownerships, okay? Business ownership is the legal way in which Susan will, will own her business and her legal responsibilities that will follow. Guys, are you seeing how I've done this? Okay, this is knowledge. You're applying what you've done to a part of the specification that you need to, to have learned, business ownerships. You've looked at the case study and you've applied it to that relevant part of it, okay? If Susan sets up a business on her own, she will be a sole trader. A partnership is a business set up by two or more people. So if Bola and John joins her as owners, she would be a partnership. Can you see what I've done, guys? It's so easy just to, to memorize sole trader and partnership. But if you're looking to get the maximum, if you want the maximum marks, you need to distinguish yourself from the majority. Because most, most students would just write about sole trader and partnership. And by the way, you're not wrong doing that. But you just need to elevate yourself to a higher level. If you want to maximize the marks that you're going to get, okay? And the key point here, guys, which I really want to, to, to emphasize, 
is the fact that you're linking it to a specific part of the specification. And that's the key point in AO1. Don't just memorize the definitions and just throw them down. It's not going to be wrong. However, if you really want to get all those marks, you want to get all those marks out of a tired examiner and let the examiner look up and say, oh, this is a good student. From the first paragraph, they will know you're a good student. When you are, when you show, when you distinguish yourself from the majority, okay. So as you see, what I've done here, I've talked about it's a type of business ownership, and I've explained what business ownership is, legal way in which Susan will own her business and her legal responsibilities that will follow. Okay, so I've linked it to an area of the specification. Then again, I've taken the case study, I've I've sp spoken in context, I've written in context, I should say. OK, I've not just taken it from the textbook and memorized it. I've applied it to the case study. And that is a secret, guys, of scoring maximum marks. OK, so hopefully this has benefited you. Everything else is the same. So have a look at the nine marker. The entire thing is the same. It's just in the beginning. Just one more thing as well. Do Always write in the beginning. Always write the knowledge in the beginning. Don't try and be clever and write knowledge somewhere along the in the essay and expect the examiner to to find this is not hide and seek make life as easy as possible for the examiner the examiner expects to see a01 straight away so you give him a01 straight away okay and remember apply it to the case study as well it just makes it look so much better okay so hopefully this has benefited you we're going to do a lot more of these nine markers six markers 12 markers okay I'm going to show you how you can maximize the marks. And I hopefully one day you're going to be, your answers are going to be a lot better than my answers. And I will be very, very proud. Okay. So like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. And I shall see you guys soon. Bye-bye.